Denise Morris and I'm with the St. Charles City County Library District and I'd like to welcome you to my presentation of Bad Hair Day. Bad Hair Day is a drawing that I've done with my students in the past of a portrait of a person with really crazy but really awesome hair. And after you watch this, if you decide that you'd rather do a portrait of a pet or an animal with crazy hair, feel free. Give me a sec to get set up and we will get started on Bad Hair Day. All right, so here are some things that you'll need for a bad hair day. I need a pencil, an eraser, um, a Sharpie. I always recommend a Sharpie or something um, permanent to outline just so your lines stand out a little bit. But if you don't have a Sharpie, you can definitely use just a regular black marker or a black color pencil, a black crayon, um, some watercolor, a paintbrush, any kind of paintbrush will do, some water and a straw. That's like the secret ingredient. So we're going to push this stuff out of the way while we get started on our drawing. Well, obviously you need a piece of paper, <laughs> if I didn't say that before. Uh, and when I tell my students when we're drawing a portrait, especially if you're just starting out drawing portraits, um, we're just drawing from basically from the shoulders up. And so a good way to start with a human face is really just to kind of sketch out a U shape, an open U shape. Um, so I'm using kind of sketchy lines just to make sure that I have the right shape for my face, I'm happy with. I'm not gonna draw anything up here because that's where all the crazy hair is gonna be. Um, and I'm also starting kind of, I'm starting my face um, kind of in the middle of the page and going down from there. So I have enough room for that crazy hair. So once I'm happy with this, the shape of my face, then I'm gonna kind of, um, just draw two little lines for a neck. I'm going to draw a smile or a curved line um, to indicate where the shirt would start. And then we're just going to kind of draw some shoulders that go off the page. All right, so you can give your person any expression that you want. Um, I'm going to make my person um, have kind of a thoughtful look. So I'm going to draw two eyes that are kind of closed to maybe give some eyelashes. I know this is kind of light. It'll be darker as soon as I go over it with the Sharpie. Um, noses are really hard. So unless you know how to draw a nose and you want to make this easy on yourself, I would just kind of draw, I tell my students maybe draw an L or an upside down seven. And then you can draw any kind of mouth you want. If you want to draw um, realistic lips, be my guest. For today, I'm just gonna kind of draw a smile. Okay, so that's the basic form of your drawing for Bad Hair Day. Um, I am going to grab my Sharpie to outline it and make it look a little darker. You'll notice that I have some pencil lines that are kind of all over the place and I'll erase those as soon as I get settled with what my drawing is really going to look like. Do my eyes. Lovely. Again, you can draw whatever kind of face you want. You definitely don't have to do this. I'm going to make my smile a little bit smaller because I didn't really like that giant smile. All right. So, basic face. Top of the head is open. I'm erasing my pencil lines. Make sure all those are taken care of. If you want to take time now to color your clothes, you can definitely do that. I'm not going to take your time doing that because I trust, I trust that you can make your shirt interesting. However, sometimes my students like to draw I'll just do this for fun. They like to draw maybe like a little collar for fun. Maybe give it some texture. Maybe you can, I don't know, draw a couple buttons, something like that. Um, so you can add to it whatever you want to add to it. Now we're going to get to the really super fun part, which is the crazy hair. So let me get set up with that. All right, I'm back and I would like to introduce my lovely assistant, Wave, lovely assistant. She's going to help me with this fun painting part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some really watery, very watery watercolor. If you don't have watercolor, you can probably use some food coloring with some water. 
I'm going to load my paintbrush up with some really watery watercolor and just kind of drop a dot on my paper right there. And I'm going to ask my lovely assistant to please do the magic. Go ahead, lovely assistant. What she's doing is she's blowing the paint with her straw. I'm going to go in rainbow order. So we're going to add another drop of red just to kind of double it up. All right, lovely assistant. A little harder. Harder. <laughs> really hard. It's not working. I'm blowing as hard as okay. I can. Try it again. This will happen sometimes. There you go. Like awesome. That. All right. I'm going to switch colors. We're going to switch to orange. Switch to orange. We're going to put some orange right here. Maybe we'll do two dots at one time so my lovely assistant. It kind of looks like red and orange. It does. We're going to blow two dots at one time so that my lovely assistant can do twice the work. All right. Go, go. Blow, blow. Awesome. Blow. <laughs> All right, so my lovely assistant got some down on the forehead. That's not a problem. We can pretend that our person has bangs. All right, moving on to yellow. Ooh, it's going to be amazing. Put some yellow right there. Put some yellow right there. All right, lovely, lovely, so lovely assistant. I would like you to get your straw closer to your paper, please, when you blow. Okay, ready, set, go. Awesome, blow. Oh, that's amazing, blow. Nice job. What? All right. <laughs> and let's see what else. What's next, lovely assistant? <laughs> we have different, different shades of green. Which green do you think we should use? We've got a teal. We've got these two lighter greens. What do you think? Not I really think teal because it would look pretty. I think it would look pretty too. All right. It's not really exactly teal, but it is It is a bluish green. Yeah, I know. All right. We're going to put a dot right there. We're going to do two dots. All right. Lovely assistant, get down low. Put your straw down against that paper and super hard. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Very cool. Look how far that went. All right. It went off the paper. I'm getting closer. And off the screen. My, there we go. This is everybody can see. All right. We all know what comes next. I've got this lovely blue. We're going to overlap a little bit so we can fit everybody. Blue. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> all right. Lovely assistant. Blue, blue. Nice job. I love it so much. Okay, last but not least, purple. Purple that I have in this set is a little lighter than I would like, but it is okay. Wow, that's great. Look at that spreading. Can we just do another layer because it doesn't look like much? We like could probably do another layer. That's a great idea. Okay, go ahead. Do your magic. Really hard. Really hard. Awesome. Okay, so another layer with some more red over here. Is that what you're asking about? Here's our awesome bad hair day.